Yo, before any of you guys type in the comments, I don't want you guys to rage about the title. I am not saying Fortnite is dead. I'm not saying Fortnite isn't great. It's still the greatest game out right now, in my opinion. But with games like Apex Legends and others trying to compete with Fortnite, Fortnite has lost some of its player base. It's safe to say that Fortnite's golden age has passed quite a bit ago. But with adding certain things to the game, it could bring those players back and it can make Fortnite great again. Also, I do know this isn't my typical kind of video i will upload two videos next week of funny moments with funny memes to make up for a different kind of video but if you do like these kinds of videos drop a like and leave a comment down below without further ado let's get into the five things that can make fortnite great again all right guys coming in at number one of things to make fortnite great again is to make victory royales mean something again do you remember your first couple of victory royales and the adrenaline rush it gave you it's what made this game so addicting and with the game being out for so long a victory royale doesn't even make you feel good about yourself unless it's a high kill game a great way to make victory royales mean something again is to add incentives for victory royales just like how you unlock an umbrella after every new season victory royale it should be like that throughout the season you should continue to be able to unlock cosmetics through victory royales not just one umbrella every season a way to implement this could be like win 20 games in season 8 and then unlock this new skin or win 5 duos wins and you unlock this axe even daily challenges can consist of win 2 games today to unlock this new back bling also for the real tryhards it could be like get a 10 kill game victory royale and unlock this skin there's so many things they could do with this adding cosmetics as a result of a victory royale will bring a lot of people to play the game more often I could see a lot of people grinding out the game just to unlock all these new skins and axes that you can only get for victory royale Royales. Coming in at number two is to implement a kill cam for the very last kill of every game. This would motivate people to trick shot or go for funny clips, etc. You remember Modern Warfare 2 and trick shotting made Modern Warfare 2 one of the most popular games after it was like three to four years old. This would be able to provide for some pretty cool content and very cool Fortnite montages. Also, if you're if you're a default and you hide out and find a trick shotter at the end, it could be possible that for you to win that game because they might kill themselves. On top of that, for those people who are already trick shot in Fortnite, the other people in your squad don't even know exactly how the kill happened. And with kill cams added, you can see all those amazing reactions that we saw in Modern Warfare 2. Coming in at number 3 is to bring the double pump and jump pads back. To get the easy one out the way, I don't know why they took out jump pads, no one was complaining about them. They were fun to use and it added for easy mobility. Easy as that. For the double pump, it would appeal to a lot of the OGs. A lot of OGs left as soon as he took out the double pump because it required a lot less skill to get a kill. Also, bringing back the double pump would make for more intense build fights because no one's going to be spraying you with an SMG through your wall. They're going to be trying double pump you to the head. Also, it would make the game more skill based, but to compensate for the noobs, I would recommend buffing the tack shotgun just a tad bit so that the noobs also have a chance. Before I state what number four is, let me play a quick clip. Yes, so number four is to bring proximity game chat when someone is killed. So you saw that clip of Ninja and how hilarious it was, or you at least thought it was hilarious when you first saw it because that clip is pretty overplayed. But when you first saw it, you probably laughed your ass off. Well, imagine if you can get content like that in Fortnite. Whenever you kill somebody, you have proximity game chat for a certain period of time and you can hear your enemy rage. Imagine you dancing after killing somebody and them just freaking the fuck out. But the proximity game chat would only be after you kill somebody because if you could hear somebody talking while they're crouch walking trying to sneak up on you, that would just ruin the overall gameplay. And last but not least is to add skilled based matchmaking. Holy crap, the amount of sweats in this game is insane and it's causing a lot of people not to enjoy the game anymore. It's causing a lot of people to leave 
and never play Fortnite again. And it's slowly affecting me too, so adding skill-based matchmaking would appeal to a lot of the casual gamers who just want to have fun. Some people pick up the game and then stop playing it because the people who, who already are playing are so damn good. And this would also allow for new people to play the game because they would get placed with other noobs and they could continue to get better and then they would go up to the next ranking of skill based matchmaking and continue to get better and better at a decent pace and not have to do with the sweaty soccer skin all the damn time all right you guys i know this video is quick and short i got through the points really quickly there could be other reasons why these topics would be great for fortnite to add into the game let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section i would really appreciate if you guys post this on reddit to see what other people think and i think that if this video somehow went viral and if fortnite saw this Maybe they might even add something I said. But I hope you guys enjoyed this different style of YouTube video. If you do like me talking over Fortnite gameplay about Fortnite or random things, I would be open to upload a video like this once a week because it's pretty easy to edit. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I hope you guys continue to play Fortnite. And I hope you guys continue to live your best life. That was kind of corny. Why did I say that?